Dr. Doreen Grand is the Dr. Doreen is an expert in autism. Doreen Grand Dr. Grand Pichet. Dr. Doreen Grand Pichet. Dr. Doreen Grand Pichet is a visionary in the field of autism. Now you can ask her questions on Ask Dr. Doreen. week and said, how can I help my son who's turning 18 years old in two months as his advocate and caretaker? I just learned about guardianship recently. Am I too late? No, you're not too late. Um, you can apply for guardianship uh, at any point. Uh, it really just depends. Like once he turns 18, if he doesn't refuse your guardianship, then you can still get his guard become his guardian. And that's uh, kind of an important step, depending on what I, I know nothing about his level of functioning. Sometimes parents of even much higher functioning individuals want conservatorship or guardianship because they're worried about just some, you know, I know one of the parents that I worked with to get to become a conservator was that he was worried his child would get mixed up in drugs, you know, and of course, that's one of those things that it's important. So you're not, you uh, would need to find a lawyer who specializes in this. Um, and I, I don't know if Bonnie knows anyone, Shannon, I'm sure we can help find someone. I mean, it depends on what state you're in. And if you're in the U.S., obviously, we don't want to assume. Um, but it is a process. It's a process. Um, it doesn't end at 18. It can continue. You can do it at any age. So I, w I will say that that um, the concern is, is that on the day that your child turns 18, you will find some legal issues if you don't have conservatorship. So you'll want to start taking steps if it's something that is medically necessary. For instance, we've had parents that didn't start until they were later. Forgive yourself for not knowing what you didn't know, right? But we, we had at least one instance where um, an 18-year-old, and, and the mom was in the process, uh, the 18 year old had a seizure. They, you know, he it was a particularly bad seizure. He had to go to the hospital and because she didn't have paperwork, the doctor wouldn't talk to her. It was a whole process and you don't want to have that hanging over your head. So you do want to start the process as soon as yeah. you possibly can, if there are those considerations, but it's never too late. Um, but you just for if, especially if it's something that your child would need your help and support with medical decisions, you do want to start it earlier as opposed to later. But now, you know what they say, now is a great time. Uh, whenever that is, whenever that is. If you found anything helpful in this video, please give us a like. In fact, make sure that you smash that subscribe button on YouTube and give us a like on Facebook. You can also follow us on Twitter and Instagram for important updates. And please download our free podcast wherever you get your podcasts. See you next time. Until then, give your kiddos a hug from me and one for you too. Bye-bye for now. To subscribe, click here. And if you'd like to check out some more of our videos, click here. Don't forget, you can watch Ask Dr. Doreen live every Tuesday morning at 10 a.m. Pacific time on autismnetwork.com. We hope to see you there.